Now hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. No, that wasn't an explosive run. That wasn't one that took it all the way to the house. But, boy, for a team that's had trouble running it the entire game, that's the kind of run they need, hopefully, to get themselves kick-started. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And some room to roam now. And he is out of bounds, just a yard or two shy of the 30. Back now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Bucks in possession of the football as we begin the second quarter. And they've got it here with a first down. They come up in an offset eye. And to give this time to the tailback. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Brandon, that play ended so fast, it's almost as if the quarterback handed it to the runner and the tackler was there right away for a loss of yardage. They'll try to throw now, Winston. And he finds a man on the crossing route. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. So on that play, defense was in the zone. They ran a crossing route offensively, but the defense there, you got to be good with communication, don't you? You certainly do, and it's not something that is really evident when you watch it on the screen. But everyone's talking, communicating, pointing, and it keeps you from chasing receivers because you have a specific zone you have to cover. When a receiver's in your zone and he crosses to another one, you got to let your guy know. They got a completion there, but I like the discipline they show to stay in their proper areas and then make the tackle. On third and one, I think everyone in the stadium thought they'd try and run the football there, but they tried to surprise the defense and hit something through the air. Instead, it results in an incompletion. And now the Tampa Bay field goal unit comes out here. This is a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. And his kick is good. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So good snap, good hold, and that one's right down the middle. Never in doubt. Just the way you used to hit them, Brandon. <laughs> Roberto Aguayo following the made field goal, set now to kick this one away. Now the return. Here comes Randall Cobb. And he'll get it up just past the 20, and his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Bears' offense now gets set to head back onto the field. They come up in an offset eye. They go back to the air here after the INT. He's going to let this one go deep. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. Well, they went for the big play there. But that drop could really hurt their momentum. Second and ten, he'll look to throw again. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Now Sean Jeffrey, the intended receiver, and it's third down. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. and a timeout called by the kicking team. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And he 
was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes where people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. Ready. They'll Ready. come out in the pistol. On second down, Winston again. He's going to go up top again. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. A big play there. An 80-yard touchdown. And the Buccaneers here finding a way to stretch their lead. Well, that was the fly route for a touchdown, and since he caught that one and scored it, I got to tell the story before the game we were standing there. He was running deep routes, dropped one. It bounced up and just hit me right in the gut, and I said, come on, man, but there there was no drop. Yeah, you okay now? I'm good. All right, I'm good. good. We got the ice pack up here. You're, you're just fine. What I loved about it was the subtlety of the route because everyone knows he's fast. They're going to play him for that route first and foremost, but sometimes it's a head fake. It's varying your speed off the line of scrimmage. It's giving the defensive back different angles to think about. Is he going inside? Is he going outside? And then, as you noted, he just took off past him. Oops, there he goes again. Now let's go! They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Jeffrey with a catch left side. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Now we're going to get a timeout. Here's we've got an injured Buccaneer. Huh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Looking for Jeffrey, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good. So they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offense coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense. And they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. Brown, the lone receiver left. In motion, Safarian Jenkins. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Winston. He's going to rifle one deep. That's caught inside the 20. And he's going to be taken down, but not before reaching the 15-yard line. And that was a heck of a shot right there by Jameis Winston. Boy, he has a superior right arm, doesn't he? You saw him play baseball. Yeah, he's actually a switch hitter in baseball. Outfielder and then, of course, a very hard-throwing pitcher. That's translated well in the National Football League. That it has. When he has to make that throw on a line, he's got plenty of arm to do it. So here we go, first and ten now. Let's go now. Blue Evans, the man in motion, left. Now they'll run it on the toss. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Time to tighten up the seatbelt just a little bit, partner, because that was a safety that crashed in there and made that play behind the line of scrimmage. How about that pursuit? Second down, Winston. That's complete right around the eight. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, 
you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And this one is right through. And that will make this now a 19-point advantage. So the drive takes him inside the 10, but it ends with just three. And a nice job defensively to rise up and make sure they didn't get in. Roberto Aguayo following the made field goal, set now to kick this one away. This will be fielded at the 8. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. shake off the interception he'll look to throw caught left side by Cobb and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line and now we're circling here around the two minute warning this is a setup play trying to get one last one in before the clock warning they'll look to throw now on first down and the tip there altered the ball flight and it falls in